How you doing, Coach? What's up, buddy? How are you? Good, how are you? Mike's gonna need these when he gets here. He said he spent over two hours in traffic. Nothing pisses Mike off more than traffic. <laughs> Good to see you, brother. How was your drive? I heard you enjoyed traffic. <laughs> it's playing. Cheers. Thursday, the night before pre-fish, two days before the tournament. I've never really night fished. Well, this tournament should be called the Matthew Brandon Special. I think that's kind of why this tournament's been set up. So people can night fish. It's not so people can fish 34 straight hours. Yeah. Oh, it wouldn't be Clear Lake without the kitty, right? Got one. Please don't be a cat. Oh, there's a tree down there. It's gonna be a miracle if I land this fish. I think that's PB catfish. All right, maybe third time's the charm. Get a bass. Oh, I got one. Oh my god. God, how did I just break off? Oh my goodness. There's like a five incher. So much for that talk about every fish you catch in Clear Lake's a good one. Can we actually get a bass in the boat today? Quality one. There's a clear lake bass for you. There we go. 17er. Alright, now this spot is starting to look a little more promising. 16, 17 incher, I'd say. Ooh, that's a big one. Another flip fish. Which are way bigger. It's another 17, I'd say. You don't look happy, coach. You're selling everything. You're selling everything? Uh oh. Come on, let's go get lunch. Holy okay. oh, Send it. Dude, I just gotta, I gotta check outside our house though. I mean, what if there's a mother little fish out there? Could be. Oh, got one. Okay, I like that. Maybe all this trouble, all this work was worth it. Horrible. Really? I got one fish. Yeah, Greg Lunch out there. He's hoping for a hell Mary. I'm thinking of actually launching tomorrow and then getting off the water by like 11 or noon. Dude, then... the question is where are we fishing at night? How'd it go? Nah, not so good. No, nah, I got one bass. Was it a giant? How'd it go this morning? Not so good. <laughs> are we looking at paper maps over here? Hey, everybody. Yeah, usually this place all the time. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh god, it's like a thousand degrees. <laughs> Just burn the shit. <laughs> Late arrival, you're here. Here, baby. Got a full belly. Your expectations for this weekend? Do you feel confident? Do you like this format? Do I feel confident I can get five keepers? Yes. Yeah. Do I like this format? I, I like that we have the option of fishing at night. I think it's cool because you're not like, like, oh, dude, it's two o'clock. I gotta get out and get my photos in. I think it's actually 34 hours total tournament time. Do you think anyone's gonna oh, yeah. fish 30 hours? No, someone will fish the whole. I bet you uh, Matt Brandon would be the closest. I bet someone fishes the whole entire That's tournament. That's insane. I don't think so. It's gonna be too hot. It'd be, it'd be tough. Smoking hot. Up. Greg's gonna fish the whole thing. We all launched at the same place. You really gonna crush it? Are you feeling confident? You feel like you figured something out in the grass out in front of Canuck Bay Harbor? Like, what's going on? I mean, I think it's the same as you guys. Today was kind of tough. If you think this is true, and you can hold me to this, I think at the end of this tournament, if you have a 17 incher in your bag, you're not gonna win. Well, good luck, guys. Tomorrow, early all right. everyone. For on sure. tournament format. For sure. It's gonna be a marathon. Yeah. First time ever, all nighter. All nighter. All nighter. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Oh, there will be some catfish action. I'm and catfish feet. Are we the Lucerne babies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. You got a cup of coffee, Terrence? Oh, that's, that's for me? Yeah. Damn. Service with a smile right there. there you go. Thank you. I'm like chill because I don't have to drive anywhere. Are you gonna be Zen fisherman today? <laughs> it would it'd be nice going out of our backyard until I don't catch anything and I leave. <laughs> Nice orchestra going on in the house last night. 
Right. It's pretty good. Out. <laughs> everywhere. Dude, it's coming from every angle. Everywhere. Yeah. Here we go. Where are you going, Mike? I guess. Maybe this isn't open. Yeah, yet. you're up pretty early to go to Brenda. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go back to bed then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I haven't had diarrhea or soft serve poop since I started drinking this three months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Alright folks, good morning, welcome back. Good morning folks, welcome back. I'm Greg Blanchard, this is my channel. It's gonna be a good day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's game day. It is 4.17 a.m. Saturday. And it is officially the start of the 34 hour straight tournament out on Clear Lake. Previously, it was interesting fishing practice wise. I didn't really find much. What I did do is bring two kayaks, lugged them around the lake, launched them in various locations, including the backyard of our Airbnb, which is a legal launch for this tournament. So I have a second kayak in the backyard. And yeah, I think for this tournament, we can get on the water at 5 a.m. I'm just gonna start in the backyard. Why not? I'm gonna sip the coffee, enjoy the morning, see these fellows get ready, head off to I don't know where on Clear Lake, and we're just gonna fish in the backyard for the first couple of hours of the tournament and uh, go from there. I might spend an hour back here, might spend five, launch somewhere else, I, I don't know. We can fish anytime until tomorrow Sunday at 3 p.m. This is a marathon of a tournament, right Santa? It's gonna be a marathon. Are you ready? Um, I yeah, I I feel ready. It's gonna be a good day. It's not gonna be a long day. No, you're gonna play. No, I play. think I'm gonna play until about 11 noon. Take a little break, a little food, relax. Come back here, probably take a little nap. Good idea. And uh, get a little recharge for the evening bite. I like that idea. Good mindset, right? Yeah. You gotta have a good mindset. Yeah. Okay, I like Catch that idea. Big ones. Definitely gonna need some big ones. We predicted, I think everyone actually, we had our little predictions last night, right around 100, at least, I'd say over 100. So you're gonna need those 19, 20 inch fish, that's for sure. Guys, that is going to begin this video, the start of this marathon of a tournament. We'll sip the coffee, we'll carry out our rods, PFD, headlamp. I guess for the wee hours of the morning right off the dock <laughs> yeah, right off the I'll sit in my kayak right off the dock and have the coffee right there and uh, no should be a good one So stay tuned Good. See you in a little couple hours you guys. Bye. Yes, sir Well guys, I don't have a plan today. My plan is just to go out and fish, just like the way it used to be back in the 70s. Feathered hair, can of beer, aluminum boat, just fishing for bass, bro. Here, clearly California. Did you forget your rods? I just set up like my 360 light. Did you catch any on the rig? A rig? Yeah. No. That's why it's sitting there. I threw, I wanted to throw the A rig yesterday, I didn't do it. Dude, I'm sore from yesterday. Trumpets. Trumpets in the night. They're coming from every room. It smells like a dirty washcloth. <laughs> I should probably have rods in my boat, probably. Starting route to Lucerne Harbor Park. Head south on Clipper Lane. Bypass all tweakers. Do not park car here, here, or here. <laughs> Alright, guys. Good, good luck, luck, buddy. Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think it's been just over an hour of fishing. Should we look at the scoreboard? Again, this tournament isn't called the Sandbag Stopper for no reason. You have to actually submit your photos within the first hour of the catch. Do we dare even look? Oh boy. Yeah, some fish on the board already. A couple of good ones. Huh. Oh, that one. 
that big, but I'll take them. Just to get one on the board. Alright, well, this one definitely cannot be on the scoreboard by the end of the tournament. Yeah, put them on the board for pride. Thank you, sir. We'll just submit the photo now. Well, at least there's one. Take them. I'll take them. Spare bait. There's some fish over here. That's good. That is good. Yeah, these are just not the right size. Small ones. A little better, I guess. Let's Sixteen and a quarter. The unfortunate part is these fish are smaller than the ones we were catching yesterday, so I'm still not really in love with this area. Probably give it a couple more hours max, and then we'll head back to the house, drive somewhere with the other kayak, and launch.
right, launch two, 8.13. Hopefully this uh, has a better area than really the last day and a half. Yet to find a real big one, so I think mathematically, statistically we're due, right? We've got to get one big one while we're here at Clear Lake. Big one meaning like 19, 20 incher. Just wasn't feeling like we're around the big ones in that other area, out of that backyard, you know what I mean? I don't know, could all be random too. Dude, I don't know. How far is it to cross over towards Lucerne? Four? Jeez. You wanna just do it? I just don't, it didn't look good back there at all. Well, we've met up with a fellow angler <laughs> on the water. We're a couple hours or about five hours into the Sandbagger Stopper Marathon Tournament. Michael Ensign. How, how's your day going so far? Going great. I caught one fish. All right. Well, you got a lot of time left. What's the game plan? Well, we like in a kayak to go fish the other side instead of getting in the car and driving 40 minutes and launching. Yeah. Thanks. I'm happy to join you across the lake. My day's not going so hot as well, but on to some new water. That's kind of what I'm thinking. New water, explore. I feel like we should retie all of our rods too, just for good time's sake. You could. Well, it is Clear Lake, so you never know. I mean, you only need five. Only need five. Five twenties. Yeah, five twenties. There's some grass over here. That's good. Like healthy grass. I like that. Can't measure that one. It's light though. Golly, look at the graph. So much activity, tons of bait. I'm sure there's bass in there. Right now, almost 11 a.m. Well, we're six hours into our 34-hour uh, tournament and I've got two squeakers on the scoreboard. Clear like squeakers. Just not how I thought this day would go. And I don't get it. I feel like I'm doing the right things. I'm trying new areas. I'm trying different baits, putting in the work. Just not getting paid off for it and i think you know i know that i've hyped up clear lake many a times and it's the bass factory and it's this you know amazing fishery which it is i think overall it is but i'll say that clear lake is really a tough lake for me personally like i don't typically do good here i struggle here yeah sure when you know it's spring and it's spawn time and in the past when they've been on the frog bite yeah i'll, I'll make it look like it's really good and easy to catch fish here but it's just because the fishing is really easy on those particular days but i think 95 percent of the time this lake is such a pattern like you have to know the pattern you have to know the bait you have to know the depth the area and it's so specific and if you don't have the right combination of stuff you're gonna miss it and my point is i just miss it all the time yeah i hate to admit it but i'm not good at fishing clear lake i really am not oh no i had a bite finally something hit it how do you not get it Unless I got wrapped up in a carp or something. What? There we go. Oh no, he came off. Oh my goodness gracious. Son of a gun. God, are you kidding me? Wow, can't put him in the boat. Getting bit, now I just can't put him in the boat. Oh, oh it's a big one. 
please stay on, please stay on. That's a good one. Come on, man, just stay on. Give me a fish to put. took so long it's not that good but it's <sighs> fish jeez <laughs> i'll take them at this point i'll take them maybe i just should focus on getting the limit now and worry about those big fish later whatever Let's see 15 and a quarter almost got him to touch 15 and a half I thought it was way bigger. Dang it. Oh. That was a good one. Are you kidding me? Dude, it is not my day. Oh my goodness. All right, let's cross back over. It's gonna take a while. You might as well turn on a podcast and sit back. Well, do we dare look at the standings? 12.30. Okay, finally some 90 bags. That ain't us. <laughs> Tonight though, this evening, you're gonna really see these scores start to jump, I'd imagine. Brutal day though for me. Not a giant, but one we can put on the board. Cranking, all right. If I had lost that one, that would have been a serious buzzkill. I think we got ourselves an 18, I think. She feels like an 18. No, she's not an 18. I guess I haven't caught many 18s this year, so I forget what they feel like. 17 and a half though. Yay. Hope there's more. That would be cool if there's more. Oh, he actually is kind of good. Come here. Not bad. Another 16 inch or so. Gotta get five just for, for pride at this point. It's actually kind of long. It's not as meaty as the other ones, but it's got a little length to them. It's good. Two and a half.
Alrighty folks, we're back at the house now. Gotta show you something. Kayak is gone. That's okay. I actually took it over to the side. Me and Dutch did. No, it didn't get stolen. It's right here. Safe and sound. Packed up all the stuff. Or at least put it here to the side. Yeah, we're done fishing out of the backyard for this trip. Figure, you know what? Let's go somewhere else tonight to do some evening fishing. And that's what we're gonna do. Thinking maybe we'd go back towards the area where we caught some fish this afternoon. That's some good rocky structure. Thinking maybe we can do some more cranking. Maybe throw a jig, drag a jig around that stuff. Look for some upgrades. But yeah, kind of tough today. I don't know, like I mentioned, frustrating. Definitely wasn't in a very good mindset at one point during the day. Yeah, the Clear Lake still is one of those lakes that I just, just can't put my finger on it. Just can't seem to figure it out easily like a lot of other people do. And that's the thing I was gonna say. Like it's not the frustration of not being able to figure it out. It's kind of the frustration that it, I feel like everyone else figures it out. I just can't do it. But uh, let's head in. We'll check in with the fellas, see how their day went, get some updates. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. All right. Well, you once again showed up, no practice, and are doing the best out of all of us. Congrats. Well, I accomplished my goal. I got a keeper. Yeah, you're sitting in <laughs> what? Ninth right now. I think I was in third when I got off the water and then woke up from a nap. And people were catching so them this I afternoon. Yeah, 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 people were catching them this afternoon. Yeah. But it's slowed down since. I'm wondering if people got off the water or if the bite just slowed down. I think I'm going to get back out there in about yeah, probably a combo of both. Santa, how'd your day go? Uh, I got three keepers, lost one really good one. Um, my bite just shut down at about 10 30 11 o'clock because you listened to the dude that got in your brain <laughs> that's it nice boxers by the way thank you <laughs> <laughs> can you see his balls <laughs> coach santa's got a sack full of stuff with any toys <laughs> but you can play with it, it depends <laughs> yeah. uh, how'd your day go coach uh it was all right i got four keepers but one of them was pretty small i broke off two two pretty good fish so I probably would have had a pretty good limit if I would have been able to buy those two. Yeah, got still, got all, still got all night and tomorrow morning, so. Michael, the laugher. Uh, How'd you do? Horrible. Yeah. I can't fish, dude. I don't know how to do it anymore. I was just saying, this lake, the worst part for me is not necessarily not catching fish, but it feels like everyone else catches them. <laughs> dude, did I tell you what happened to me after I saw you? What? So I crossed the lake to go to the spot. I told you I dumped someone on a crankbait in the morning. I'm like 50 yards away and there's a bass boat on Shag Rock. And he's like a mile away, right? He's in a bass boat though. I'm like 50 yards away from getting to where I want to fish. Pulls his trolling motors up. Blast behind me and goes, brr. Parks it right on, right on top where I was going to cast him. Like, 50 yards away. I'm like, all right, dude, he's just gonna be there a minute. Boom, he sticks one, partner sticks one. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. They got like 15 fish out of that hole. And then they call another bass boat over. And he's like, come on over, dude. If you don't got a limit, get a limit here. We'll take off. Pulls his belly in the bass boat over. It. They start roping up. I'm like, you've <laughs> gotta be kidding me, dude. And I'm 50 feet off and I can't, or 50 yards off, cannot get bit. Golly. It was a horrible day for that, but it's over. Today's a new day. We got plenty of time left. Mikey, lots, yeah. of, lots of good fish to be had out there. It's what, five o'clock right now? Ready for night, night sesh? Yeah. All right, so that's the update. We're, are we technically halfway through this tournament? Not even. No, no. halfway, I think, will be like, we're 12 hours in. Holy crap, we have yeah. 20, we have 22 hours more. I mean, assuming no one sleeps. Yeah, you guys were sleeping beauties earlier when I came back. I had to get to sleep. I'm like, dude, I, I wanted to get to sleep. to sleep. As soon as I started to get comfortable, he walked through the door and started banging on the freaking panel outside. He's in such a bad mood. He stomped into the room. Around. Sorry to wake you up, but the power's out, so I gotta charge my batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Alright so. right, guys, we'll see you in a little bit for some uh, evening fishing and hopefully we can all do better. Uh, well, uh...
Well, as you can see, there's definitely fish here, and this is the spot, as mentioned, we caught those last two crankbait fish this afternoon. We're going to be fishing into the night. I don't know if you'd call it night fishing, because I don't see us staying up till 3 a.m. doing this, but kind of my idea is that found an area during the day that had some fish, you know they're there, and then nighttime you come back and pick it apart. Fish maybe a little bit slower, maybe faster, I'm not sure. I don't think I've fished at night ever, unless maybe from the bank a few times, but not like this. I don't know what kind of strategy or what the techniques are for nighttime fishing or evening fishing, but the fish are clearly still here. Looks like they're pretty active and moving around. And maybe, just maybe, get a few upgrades tonight. Get on the fall. Oh, good one. Interesting. I don't know if the jig necessarily was the one for that fish, but that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. Come here, boy. Yeah, get in the net. Thank you, sir. I hope the big ones come out to play at nighttime. That's heavy. I don't know how long it is, but she's heavy. Choke the jig on the fall too. I knew something was up. The jig was just falling really weird. That's a good one guys. That's a good one. That's one of the ones we need. Here we go baby. Maybe nighttime fishing's the deal, I don't know. Pretty good call. I mean, if there's gonna be 19s in the area doing that, might just have to stay out all night, you know? <laughs> sometimes. It's getting bigger as I keep fighting them. Oh, stay out of the toolies, please. There's right, a cocoa. fish grow up. There's a call. First, no, second call of the day. He's large. Thank you. Sometimes, like a different class of fish can move in different times of day. Oh, lord, that's actually way bigger than I thought. Yikes. Maybe I like night fishing. Oh, shit. Keep them coming. <laughs> it's one of the ones you need at the end right there. Think how fast things can change. What a grim day. 10 minutes out here at 7.30 at night on Clear Lake and two casts. We got two of the right fish. <clears throat> Might have to sit here for a minute or two tonight. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. Juices are back. Confidence meter's back. They're here. There's the correct fish. Correct class of fish here. I'm not aimlessly throwing drop shots at docks all day. <laughs>
right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm try to be quiet here because I think the rest of the house is sleeping. I heard him get back in last night about 1.30 a.m. And uh, yeah, I'm up. Got a few hours of sleep, not gonna lie. Kinda was anxious to get up and get back out on the water. It's tough, it's tough to go to sleep or do something else when you know you could be out on the water competing for the tournament. But I wanted to get at least a few hours of sleep so that Today we could fish probably right up until three o'clock. So let's take a look at the standings. I'm sure there was some big changes throughout the night. Okay, so new leader, new high score, 98 and three quarters inches by uh, Matthew Brandon. Definitely a local favorite. Not as many shakeups as i thought though i thought there'd be at least a few up in the high 90s yeah let's see how our, how our guys did aldi i think he called once dutcher got a limit oh terrence and dutcher with limits yeah right now we're sitting in 11th with 89 inches we got two of the right ones and three that i gotta get rid of today in the next 10 hours <laughs> Yeah, this has been a long, exhausting weekend, but this is the last leg of the tournament. Gonna go out, finish strong, let's see if we can make some magic happen. We'll see, here we go. Barely hooked. Come on. Yes. They're here still. They're here still. Oh, they're here still. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see, chain new light, baby. More like that, baby. A couple more like that. That's on the fall. On the fall, too. If I can get one more like that, man, oh man, that would be pretty crazy. And essentially, we'd be looking for one more big bite. Kicker, kicker. Crazy. The last three fish we've caught off this spot have been 19 plus inches. Not a lot of bites, but the bites we get seem to be good. Better than average. It's weird though. Last night, after we got those first couple, as soon as it turned dark, couldn't get bit again. Same thing this morning. Didn't get a single bite in the dark. Ten minutes after the sun rises, get bits. I think like these big fish must bury themselves in the rocks or maybe slide out and suspend. And then during their feed windows, these wee hours of the morning or just before dusk, they must come up and feed and then just slide back down just goes to show you why there's so many and i'm gonna say this too i bet you when we look at some of the timestamps of the fish caught i bet you a lot of the big ones were right around 6 30 7 o'clock 7 30 and then a lot of big ones probably were caught right around last night 7 30 8 o'clock it's not a coincidence these fish are very time specific Please 
stay on. It's got to be another good one. They're all good here. Gotta be another quality fish. Uh, not actually that big, but still one will take. I think that'll get rid of our 16.50. Man, same bank though, same little stretch. It's just like a little 50 yard stretch. They must just reload on it. That's the trouble. It's like, do I leave or do I just grind this out all day? I feel like I need to just grind it out. Let her rest, let her reset. Dang, it's not as big as the other ones, but it's all right, we'll take the fish. We'll certainly take her. Not a bad one. All right, 18, a little bit of a call. All right, I gotta get rid of a 17.50 now. Not to get greedy, but if I want to have a shot at this thing, which is over 100 inches at this point for the win, can't really have that 18 by the end of this deal. Kind of needed to get rid of those two fish with like 20 plus inches. It's a little cushion, a little confidence booster though. Either one. Oh, that's big. That's a big one. Either one. Please stay on, dude. This could be our 20. This could be our 20. Oh, boy. Just stay pegged. Don't jump. Don't jump. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, God, I'm so nervous. Don't jump, dude. Stay here the whole dang day. Oh yeah, that's a good one, man. Oh, jeez, I knew you were gonna do that. Uh, I thought he was bigger. I thought he was way bigger. Son of a gun. Yeah, a little bit of a call, not much. Mine's bigger. Oh, that was. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Dude, that fish was shallow. You do it. Get out of those rocks. Well, this is a you know what show. I don't know if that's gonna even call. I don't even think that's gonna call. That's not even gonna call. No, it's not going to call. Dang it. Man, the way it was pulling, I felt like it was another monster. That's really what we need right now are monsters. Just looking for a monster bite. Need those 20 plus inch fish. Basically need to catch my Clear Lake PB twice today. <laughs> Never know though. They're in here. Hey. Hey. What's going on? 
Where are you at? Uh, same spot as last night. Oh, you went out to State Park? Yeah, how about you? Uh, Bredos. Did you guys all go there? Or? Yeah, I don't know where. I, all of them is behind us. I don't know what he's doing, but... Yeah, you guys just getting on the water? Head. Yeah. What time did you get back last night? Like one. Were you guys catching them or what? Alden said he was. And, and Terry caught a couple. <laughs> and you and Mike? I caught that one before the sun went down and that was it. Wow. I couldn't get bit as soon as it got dark last night. I gave it a couple hours and I just came in and went to bed. Yeah, I was ready to leave. And Mike said, no, f*** that dude, let's go over here. Alden's right over here. So we went and found Alden and then we fished for another however long. Well, are you going to fish till three or... I'm probably gonna fish. I don't know. It depends on the fishing. If the fish is good, I'll probably stay out here. But if hold on, I got one. I, don't I got one. Fish. I'm gonna leave it like noon and go home and watch the point again. All right, I got one. I'm not sure if it's big though. Hang on. Yeah. I, they're, dude, dude, they're all fighting so hard. You just don't know. Oh. Can't tell. Dude, I don't. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm not sure. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right. Hi, man. See ya. Later. I don't think that's gonna do it either. No, it ain't gonna do it either. I already know. It's not. I know some of you think I'm silly for not measuring, but I can just tell. It's probably a 17 at best. Still biting though. Still biting. Man, they're shrinking though. That's the problem. They're shrinking around. I need them to get bigger. Oh man. Little guy. What are you doing up there? Oh my god. Wow. Definitely going in the wrong direction size wise. Almost 10 o'clock. Might be time to make a move and really just let this spot rest. Let it reset. Because I do think it's a spot that'll kind of reset if you give it some time. When we just beat the crap out of it. Obviously going up and down it a few times. Just I don't know where to go. I don't want to go too far. It's a tough call. I'm trying to think of the best decision right now to give myself the best chance at you know a giant fish I and mean, that's hard to say you just never know but I want to find areas similar to this I don't think I'm gonna be drop shotting a dock and come across a giant I just don't see that happening I've caught many of drop shot fish on Clear Lake under docks and I don't think I've ever caught a big one for whatever reason I just don't think those great big ones get under the docks and bite drop shots all right let's make a move give this spot a rest come back to it to finish the day maybe I feel like I gotta take a gamble Explore. See you right now with the sun up. Almost 11 o'clock. These fish, big ones in particular, are doing one of two things. I feel like they're sucked out, pushed out a little deeper, close to the bottom, or they're up in the cover in the shade. I have a feeling that active period, that bite window this morning is over, and now it's just trying to catch them when they're in a more dormant phase. Instead of fishing out deep and slow, I'm gonna go shallow, fast, fish the cover, try to land on one's head. I haven't had a real good flip bite this, this trip, but I do have a feeling if I get a bite, it'll be a good one. Why is my drag not set right? Oh my god. Well, I'm glad you're just a little guy. Because that would have been a shame if you were biggin'. So much for my big fish theory with flipping. I think it would have been close. It was a good one. 
first keeper bass since we've left the, the juice this morning. Oof. Got another one. You stay on. You stay on. Please be a giant. Why? Ooh, yeah, that's a call. I think that's a call. I want to say that's a call. Uh, stay down, bro. Come on. Can't dog him too hard. the weight it might be 20 I'm, eh, it might be 19 I'm not sure it's so hard to tell eh, I don't know I think it's cold but I'm not sure by how much come on baby be 19 be 19 be 19 I think you are I think you are Good call right there. All right, now we gotta get rid of an 1825. Man, oh man. I'm still looking for big mama, like 21, 22 incher. There's been a few of them caught. When's it gonna be our turn? All right. 1240 guys we're a decent ways away from our starting spot where we did most of our damage today i think i'm gonna make that run back i'd be about 25 minutes or so then the last couple of hours at that spot just grind it out with a crankbait maybe throw in some other baits mix it up just try to get lucky i think that's my best plan of action right now we know that there's quality fish in that area just gotta hope that they show up and they bite think you are I haven't caught a single cat over here don't jump don't jump don't jump don't jump it's a strong fish man oh no god you're on the other side of the boat what are you doing taking me in circles I think it's a call I think think that is it's just a fat one dang it dang it i thought you were a cold fish thought you were a cold fish you're not i gotta call them 18 and a quarter no i bet you that's gonna be a 17 and three quarter fat fish in the right size nope didn't see that'd be real exciting so strong. I get the heart pumping towards the end of the tournament. 